Greetings friend, entrepreneur, and fellow business builder. Time for the third quarter review of the best, the good, the bad, and the ugly of what the Super Bowl has to offer in ads this year. With me once again is my son Joel coming to you from California. And Joel, I didn't see anything in the third quarter that made me feel any better about things except there was a Bud Light ad at the end of the third quarter where they had the guy uh, go out into the street and wound up in a, in a, a playing Pac-Man. It was kind of interesting and the idea of it was uh, be ready for anything when you drink Bud Light. And of course, beer commercials don't have to sell anything at the moment, so it was just a fun spot. Anyway, that's my take. Did you see anything you liked or didn't? Interestingly enough, uh, two things. One was the, the Budweiser commercial. There was no voiceover. It was all text and images of beer and I thought and I'm not a drinker myself but I thought that commercial much more than either the Bud Light commercial you mentioned or the earlier Budweiser commercial with the dog and the horses did more to make me think this looks like good high quality tasty beer than any of the other beer commercials that I that I saw and then the other one that I thought again wasn't terribly entertaining but it was a slice of life commercial where you just had a guy who was for Time Warner Cable. I couldn't even hear it very well, but it get, it communicated a, a deal with your internet. So it actually communicated some pertinent information if people are you know shopping internet or want to get a better internet deal. It probably was effective. Two things that uh, observations that come out of this. Uh, it seems to me number one is basic benefit selling can work, whether that benefit is delivered all via video without any audio to speak of, or whether it's just a straightforward spot hitting benefit language, benefits continue to work best in advertising. If you actually want a response from somebody, if you actually want somebody to buy, that's the way to get it done, as opposed to just being funny or entertaining. The other thing that uh, strikes me in all of this is that uh, Joel and Dave and I are grasping at straws to find spots that we think are even remotely good. It's been that bad of a year and I predict that it will be a watershed year for uh, ad, ads in the Super Bowl. From now on I don't think prices will go up and from now on you're not going to see the kind of creativity top to bottom and across the board that we've seen in years past. It's just too expensive for companies to do that and as Joel pointed out last time, hey, for four and a half million dollars you can run a year-long campaign on uh, the web on YouTube and probably get a lot more out of it. So that's our third quarter wrap. We'll be back at the end of the game.